So if you take a look at the screen right now, what you can see set up is the similar setup we had from the last tutorial where we had the video in Watcher, but now I've got two of them. And if you look on the projector, which we're going to take a closer look at in this tutorial too, you're going to see one difference here. See all these things as you scroll down here relate to the overall image as logic would kind of dictate. Now on the first projector stage one is selected and on the second projector stage two is selected. So if I click on the program now and activate it, there I am. Now you can see one difference. If I were to change this to stage one, all of a sudden I just got a lot brighter. And the reason for that is that there's actually now two images that are actually going to be projected onto the same stage. A stage is a way of thinking about it really in the most basic terms because you could have multiple stages that you're actually working with on stage, as it may be. We're here on stage one, you can see where the mouse is, and say, for example, I actually wanna make this basic image a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna just decrease the zoom. Now everything in Isadora actually works with percentages for the most part. So right now I'm decreasing the zoom on the first projector, and now obviously I've got a smaller image that's happening right here. So now I can do a little bit of picture in picture. Say I want to now move it a little bit. So let's change the height. Uh, we want to actually bring the height down, distort it a little bit now, and we're going to move it a little bit over to the left, which is the horizontal position. Simply by going from negative to positive, I'm moving the image. That's all it has to be. Um, now, this is one thing you could do. I'm just going to quickly reset these to neutral. Height is 100%. Zoom is 100%. There we go, we're back. Another thing that we can do is actually send the same signal, uh, or different signals, whatever you like to do, but you can send the same signal to another stage. So now I'm gonna go to this menu part here, the Isadora core menu. I'm gonna click on preferences. And now we're going to see the stages. So the preview stage size, kind of as we had talked about before, this can be customized, but the smaller it is, the better it usually is for running the program. So whenever possible, I always would recommend going small. Now here, you'll see it's actually said to say display two, but since we don't have a second display, it's just going to pop up here. And this is useful because if we set the main display, it would take up the entire screen. Uh, right now we're just working with programming. In future tutorials what I'll do is I'll actually take you into the Creation Studio itself and we'll do some tutorials in there so you can see the full scale. Now um, here we're going to go over and say we also want this on display 2 for stage 2. So now we have two stages. So I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see we have the second stage here. So if I just switch this to the second stage, now there's two of me which is a little bit disorienting for me right now, looking at the screen. As you can see, we're back, we've got the two. And uh, in scene two, there's only one. So scene one, two of me, scene two, one of me, and of course scene zero is nothing. So these are the two stages we have. You can set this up however you like, on stage just based on if you want to use the same projector you can use it to have kind of a multiple layering effect kind of like a mapping thing uh, if you want to use it through separate projectors if you've got the equipment for that then that's easy enough to do you can have two different images coming in same program not a problem so I'm gonna show you now how to just work with the projector now we've done a little bit with the projector to show you some of the functions, which was the horizontal position, the vertical position, the width, the height, pretty normal stuff, it makes sense. The other ones that we've got here are intensity. So we can take down the intensity here and you can see it's kind of fading out on the right window. Uh, spin, uh, oh, another factor I should probably show you too. You can always, while you can't just enter numbers in here, I could easily just enter in, say, 50. 
Now I'm at a 50% angle. Um, or go back to 100. Or I can simply click, well, zero in this case. Or I can simply click on this button, and this will allow me to just kind of spin about however I like. It's a bit of an easier slider. This is useful for if you're just doing stuff on the fly. So, another thing we can do is work with perspective. This becomes very useful if you are trying to map something. So you can see here, I'm just kind of flying from side to side. You can obviously do some of this on the projector itself if you're working with um, multiple projectors, but depends on how you like to work. Uh, active, gone, back. I'm simply just slipping it from off to on. And of course the stage. The stage determines where I'll be. So here I'm on stage one. Now I've gone to stage two. You see the brighter image, meaning that there's two images. And I'm back to just one. 